Hello, welcome to Check It Out with Rich. Um, Audiovox reached out to me recently and asked me if I would do a review on their new backup camera they have coming out. It is the Solar 3A Plus. Um, it is strictly a backup camera. It's not our observation. Uh, we'll see later uh, what I mean by that. I will put uh, all links in the description. You can either buy it off their website or you can buy it off of Amazon. They also gave me a code that you can uh, get $20 off, and it is 11 checking. And I will also put that in the description. All right, so let's uh, bust this box open and see what we have. And it is AutoVox, making driving safe, smart, and easy. All right, let's see what we got in here. Okay, first up is um, warranty card. It comes with a 12 month. You can go online and extend it another six. So it comes with an 18 month uh, warranty, which uh, that's pretty good. It also has, if you buy off of their website, um, they have a 30 day return. Now, if you have Prime, you buy it off of Amazon, you usually get a 30 day return anyway, but they do offer that on their website. Okay, next it comes with the uh, user manual. And then we have a uh, five inch display. We have the camera, which just mounts to your license plate. Comes with an Allen wrench and a couple screws. We'll get into that in a moment. It also comes with an adhesive mount. And a box of accessories. So in here, you have a uh, charging cable for the uh, camera itself. And then you have an adhesive mount for the uh, monitor. It does not come with a suction cup mount, just an adhesive. And this is rigid. So if you have a curved area or something, this is not going to work. You have to make sure you put it on a flat area. And then last is your uh, power cab cable for your monitor. Now this goes naturally goes into a cigarette lighter jack. And there is an on and off button here. And there's also a USB port, and it looks like there's a 1 8 inch um, plug in here. Uh, the owner's manual, I don't believe, said anything about that. Okay, and the monitor, like I said, it is a 5 inch display. It's relatively light. Um, on it, we have your power cord naturally. And then there's three buttons so that you can enter the uh, menu and navigation buttons. And it's also um, on and off button too. And then when I was looking at this, there was a sticker right here. And it was a pain in the butt to get it off. And once I finally got it off, there is an SD port there for a card. But there's nothing inside. If you put it in there, I think it'll just drop straight in. So there's no recording function on this. Okay, and then the uh, mount, once you mount that, you can, it's pretty easy to put it onto the mount itself. And it comes off r real easy. And there's also adjustment on here. I, I tightened it up before, it's pretty tight. And you can move it around. And then just tighten it up where you want it, and you're good to go. Okay, the uh, camera. Your head pivots, I think it's 70 degrees both ways. And there is a solar panel here to help uh, maintain the charge on, on the battery. And the battery is a 5,000 milliamp hour battery, which is pretty good. And then on this side, this thing opens up and there's your charging port. So theoretically, once you get this thing charged up, which I, I've already charged it, the sun should maintain it, depending on usage, that's common sense and then on this side you have your on and off button okay now this allen wrench and these screws 
or for let me uh take this apart real quick here this fits pretty tight so if this should happen to go dead on you if you're using it a lot and it dies on you you're going to have to charge this with a cord so either you're going to need a power pack and put it in the back of your vehicle or you could take it take that screw out and take this and charge it inside your vehicle or the house or whatever now this fits pretty tight i don't think it's going to come off if you use to take that screw off and that would make it a lot easier to remove to remove the charge All right, we'll put that back in in a minute. Okay, so this is uh, IP68, so it's uh, pretty waterproof. It's also, supposedly, um, you can be 40 foot away from the monitor, and it should still pick it up. So my camper, I don't know if I'd be able to pick it up from the um, if I put it on the back of my camper. Okay, the camera on here is a 1080p Keller. And it does have night vision. Uh, maybe tonight I'll come out and get some video of what it looks like in the dark. Uh, hopefully, I don't see no IR on here. So, I don't know how well it's going to do if it's completely dark. Okay, and lastly, um, they boast no complications. Two minute install. We're going to try that two minutes out. Alright, so let's go outside and get this thing hooked up. Okay, before I mount this up. Um, I got the monitor plugged in. I'm going to have Becky walk back and see how far the camera gets, gets away from the vehicle before we lose the signal. Now she should be approaching 40 foot. Keep going? Yeah, go until I say. Alright, it's time to sputter now. Yeah, it's time to lock up. Come in a little bit. Okay. Yeah, it's a little choppy right there. So let's get out and see how far away she is. It's a lot better. It's not It's not that bad. Just every now and then it'll stop. Yeah, it definitely wouldn't work on the back of the camera. No. What? Here to the 35 foot. So it's, it's it'll probably 40. It might get a little choppy. Okay, yeah, so that's that's pretty close to 40. I, I noticed when she went back a little bit further, it, the uh, video got a little more choppy. So I'd say 30 foot, you're uh, no problem. 40, can do it. All right, we're going to try to see if it takes two minutes to hook this thing up. Now, I have the monitor in the car already. I'm going to unplug it because I want to get everything from uh, the camera to the monitor set up. Okay, we're going to see if we can do this in two minutes. Here we go. Okay, I, I originally put this together wrong. The license plate is supposed to go on top of the uh, bracket, so the whole spacing doesn't matter. Um, now, with this setup, there's no way to get to that screw. So I think I'm going to take this back off. I'm going to take that screw out because when this slides in, it's pretty tight. I don't think it's going to fall out. Um, if I have to, I can, if it seems like it's going to loosen up, I can figure something out to keep it there. Yeah, but uh, now... Without using a gun to put the screws in, I had to use a wrench. So I might have been pretty close to the two minute mark. Um, if I would have looked at directions better to see how it went on, I would have known the license plate went on top of the bracket. But I'm saying two minutes, you can have it done. All right, let's go uh, check the monitor out and see what all that thing does. Okay, Becky's not sure where she uh, wants it mounted, so I thought it'd be easier to come in here in the, in the uh, camper to check out the monitor. So I plugged it in, I got it all ready, so uh, let's check out the monitor. Okay, so the uh, monitor is picking up the camera without any problems. So what you do to get it start started, because right now everything's in standby, you should be able to see the little red lights on. There you go. And then you just want to hit any button. You hit the button and then the camera comes up and there is a battery icon up here saying that it is fully charged and then on this side there is the channel so we're on channel one we don't have another camera hooked up but to change channels you would hit the bottom button and then that takes it to channel two you hit it again it takes it to one and two 
and then you hit it again and it takes it back to channel one. So let's go into the menu, which is the center button. And here's your menu. The first one here is for pairing. So if you get another camera, you can pair your camera there by clicking on that. And then your next one is your brightness and contrast. And then your next one is your mirror and flip. So had we mounted this at the bottom of the uh, license plate, we would uh, do the flip and it would turn the uh, view around. Let's do a quick one here, upside down, down, and you see it turned it around. So let's go back to normal menu. And then, all right, this is a uh, reset. I guess is go back to factory reset. And then your next one is your guidelines. Now you can turn these off or on. So we'll turn them off, hit the menu, and there's no guidelines. And then let's go back and put the guidelines back on again. Guidelines on menu, and there's the guidelines. Okay, now you can also move these guidelines around. What you have to do is push the middle button for menu for four seconds, and then it should start to flash. And then you can hit the up or down button to move them, I think it says in six different positions. So we're going to leave it all the way down and then push the menu button again and oh, yeah and then now it's saved and then let's go into the menu again and then reverse timing okay this is what makes it a backup camera and not an observation camera you can either choose 60 seconds 90 seconds or 120 seconds and what that does is from the time it leaves standby mode, it will stay on for whatever time you choose. I have it set at 120, so it'll be on for two minutes. And then when you lose it, all you have to do is hit one of the three buttons and it will come back on. Now I'm gonna turn off these lines because I don't think she'll want these lines on. So let's go to lines real quick, turn it on, off, and then hit menu again and lines are off and I don't know how well you can see this screen but the picture is very nice uh, we will check it out later once it gets dark to see how it does in low light conditions uh, being that there's no IR I'm thinking if it's completely dark out it's not going to be that good but if there's a little bit of light around it should be able to absorb that and have a half decent picture but we'll check that out later okay another thing you can do to uh take it out of standby mode you can hit this button and when you do it takes it out of standby mode so you can either hit the uh, switch on one of the buttons on the camera or you can hit this um, this does not turn it off so if your um, cigarette lighter stays on all the time you might want to unplug this because you'll be draining your battery down okay here's a picture at night or neighborhood isn't very dark there's a lot of uh, lights around so the picture isn't that bad and I think if it was completely dark you wouldn't see that well but you're backing up so you're either going to have your uh, brake lights on or your reverse lights so that um, is a very good picture for being dark out with reverse lights on I think it's pretty good Okay, as you can see, the uh, night vision worked pretty good. You're always going to have a light on, whether it's your brake lights or your reverse lights. So the um, night vision did come in nice and clear color. So if you're looking for a half decent uh, wireless, easy to install, uh, waterproof, solar powered, backup camera, I think this is a pretty good option. So, all right, I hope this helps somebody out. And once again, thanks for checking it out. We'll see you all next time. Bye.